finally, we're going to talk about Tyler Gilbert. Make sure I've got my times written down. Tyler Gilbert threw a no-hitter for the Arizona Diamondbacks against the Padres, who have been outstanding, and did it in his first MLB start ever. Now, on its face, the story sounds fantastic. Oh my gosh, this young kid throws his first no-hitter, and it's in his first action, like his first start in Major League Baseball. Da, da, da. And then you dive in, and not that I want to crap on him or anything like that. I'm not. He's the first to do it in his first MLB start since Bobo Holloman in 1953 for the St. Louis Browns. That'll tell you how long that go that was. And, and before that, it was guys in the 1800s. So, like, this does not happen. But when I first saw the headline, it, that, that was my thought process. This guy's really young. This is amazing. I can't believe he did this his first time out. And not quite so much. He went to he went to high school in what is it, San Fernando Valley, and then went to sorry, San Lorenzo Valley, then went to Santa Barbara City College in 2013, 2014. In 2015, he went to USC and he got drafted by the Phillies in 2015. So he has been in the league for quite some time doing minor league, this and that, and he has come in in relief work. Yeah. He's, He's never got caught up to the show. Yep. Except for relief work, he's never actually had a start. Exactly. And this was his first start, which is still unbelievable. So this whole thing was insane. I'm just like, <laughs> the guys that did it before him, St. Louis Browns, Ted Breitenstein, Breitenstein, which was October of 1891, and then Cincinnati's Bumpus Jones in October of 1892. And then after that, it was Bobo Holloman, May of 1953, and now you got Tyler Gilbert. This pretty awesome story, man. I don't know that the, the Diamondbacks have been, you know, outstanding this season, but this was, I mean, to do it against the Padres is even more incredible because they, I mean, this was a star-studded lineup that he pitched against. This was not just some run-of-the-mill, it's, it's the eighth no-hitter this season, but to do it against that lineup... Kind of a big deal, right? Like you know about yeah, the Padres. That's right. No, I love the Padres. I've, yeah, I've been all over them this year. The, the last month and a half has been ripping my heart out. This is the first no hitter without the sticky stuff, too. That's yeah. That's a very I valid think, point. I think that I think that matters. I think there's a reason we saw a bunch of them early, and then we took the sticky stuff away, and batting averages went up, and the runs scored went up, and all this stuff started happening. Baseball is starting to change, and then. This kid comes out here, has a day like none other. It was pretty impressive. It was really cool to watch. I, I saw it. his dad in the stands. It, yeah, that his was cool. Dad, his dad reminds me of me when I'm alone without thousands of other people around and a camera on me where I'm really excited about something, but I don't know really how to act. <laughs> but I know I have to do something to get this energy out. I watched that video of his dad, and that's what I thought. I was like, that guy's weird and uncomfortable, too. The difference is, is there's no camera in my house watching me. <laughs> there's nobody else around. But, like, he was so excited for his son, but he kind of didn't really know how to respond physically. It just looked yeah. very uncomfortable, looked very awkward, <laughs> and it looked right at home for myself. It, it did make sense. It was good video. Go and search yeah. for it if you haven't. Of course, if you're watching us on YouTube, you can just hit that search bar, but it is... Fantastic. So just just search out Tyler Gilbert's dad, and yeah. and you will well, find big it. moment. Big moment. It was a. It's still a cool story, even though he's been a relief pitcher and kind of bounced around the minors for you know uh, over a decade now, or almost a decade. You know, it's been a long time. I guess no, six years. What am I doing? Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter at Gary WCE at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.